you will not find a better matchup in the FCS this spring than the one we have in store today. It's number two, North Dakota, taking on three-time defending national champions and fourth-ranked North Dakota State. We were excited to go down there and it was a great opportunity for our program. I was really excited. The team was really excited. Um, that big crowd, I think, gave us, gave us some fire. Everyone was juiced up. We saw the fans. Uh, you know, it just felt like a normal football game. We just needed to play much more consistent football, and you know it starts uh, with stopping the run. The opening drive, they just kind of they got that long run. But first and ten, big hole here off the right side, and it busts wide open. Hunter Lupke, touchdown Bison. Even when they scored first, I, the whole team, there was no doubt in our mind that we were coming back. Nolan, time again, looking for Watson, bobbled and intercepted. Devin Shanowski coming across to make the pick in the end zone. Second and ten, Nolan on play action. Intercepted! Hayden Galvin with the pick. We scored Otis on that big run, and we were still, just had that next play mentality. And Otis Weah has some space. Weah inside the 50. Look at the sophomore go! Touchdown, North Dakota! Right before half, they got a big pass, touchdown. Deep ball here. Great catch by Watson. He breaks free, and he's in for the score. We had a one-score game late in the first half, and I think that big play, you know, made it diff more difficult for us uh, with the halftime, but came out and got a good kickoff return, went down and made it a one-score game. Schuster looking end zone. He's got his man. Belquist in the end zone for the touchdown. Good way to start the second half for the Fighting Hawks. That gave us a spark. I thought it was really cool from Bo. Great pass by Tommy. It was really key that we get a stop there. And, you know, we got him to third down, and the drive was extended with a penalty, and then they were able to get it up two scores again, and, and that proved to be really the difference in the second half when they were up two scores and then controlled the football. I was proud of our guys. You know, we played with great effort. We just didn't give up. We played our hearts out, you know. I was on the field every time, like, just giving it my all, just like everybody else. For the Fighting Hawks, they dropped their first game of the season to fall to 4-1 and one on the campaign. Tough one today for Bubba Schweigert's crew, but a ton of credit to Matt Entz and what this Bison team did this afternoon. It doesn't feel good to lose, and we haven't, we haven't lost in a while, but we just got to get over it and be better next week. Looking forward to this week, really important week for us to go on the road against a team that I see that is really improving as a football team. So this will be a challenge for us this week and we're looking forward to a great week of preparation and going on the road. I think uh, probably the biggest thing is we just got to be more physical. I think that's what North Dakota State beat us on, they were just more physical. I mean in those type of games you're going to have that. and. Just got to keep playing physical and be more physical than their secondary. So just got to work on that in practice. I love our team. I feel the same way about our guys this Monday as they did a week ago Monday. You have 24 hours to celebrate a win and 24 hours to get over a loss. And I feel like the team has got that next game mentality too now. We stay in the moment. We've been pretty good at that, at staying in the moment. And that's a credit to the players and leadership on our team. And staying in the moment is going to be really important this week, you know, that we improve and learn the plan. And because we always got to have things that we can get better at, and that's what we're expecting from our team.